Well, this week we've been working on a nearly brand new Ford Transit, and I have to say there's a lot I like about these. Uh, this particular customer is in the early stages of their build, and so we helped them out with a nice Victron system, custom battery, and prep for some solar. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's uh, go over the system we installed. So I would call this a four position only system. Now this is, it sounds like this is where this is gonna stay, this stuff, but we left plenty of room here for wire or for uh, movement of uh, the battery. And this is a custom 260 amp hour lithium battery with a 300 amp BMS in there, a DALI BMS and an active balancer to keep all the cells balanced. And this is the way we put them together. And uh, I think I'll actually do a separate video on this, but people are choosing these more and more, not for the cost, they are extremely cheap for what they are, and, and I even build them for you, but uh, just the space savings. This is 560 amp hours. That's almost six traditional batteries, let's say six Battleborns would go to there, or uh, you know any other kind of Group 31, Group 29 size battery or, or uh, three of your 200 amp hour batteries. It's just such a nice compact uh, unit. It's just hard to go wrong with them. So anyway, uh, we got the customer decided to upgrade to the Victron MultiPlus 3000. We had a 2000 spec. And as you can see, we do have a lot of cable raceway in this one, probably the most raceway we've ever used. And I really like the way it looks. Um, usual suspects here, got the uh, 50 amp, 100 PV char solar charger, Servo GX, shut off for the solar, uh, the Lynx shut off shunt combo, and we also added a BGA, or uh, what is this called, yeah, BGA battle, or battery guardian auto, and what that does is it automatically disconnects this system from the Ford Transit system and uh which is great let's talk about that for a moment the underneath this cover here is a nice uh, chassis ground where the rest of it comes and i don't know if you can see in here see those big thick red cables those go directly to the alternator or i think they go through some kind of other controlling uh mechanisms of some kind and then there's posts right here to connect uh, and we're doing two gauge or two aught cable because that's capable of I think 160 amps out of there. We're running that here, and I tested it. We were able to run that heater because I did a load test and still charge the batteries at like 60 amps. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, I have to say, what they're doing in these Ford Transits, uh, I really like that. Uh, up top here, the panels we put together for position only. Uh, basically, with the idea that uh, they're going to add a roof rack later. And the reason why it's not there is shipping problems. Haven't been able to get it. So we're going to have to take these panels off. We're just testing, testing them. These are those 200 watt uh, rich solar ones, and they work real good, as you can see. And we're leaving room up front here for a DC air conditioner. That's gonna be pretty cool. And then a uh, vent fan in the back. So uh, we don't know exactly the placement on that, but uh, it made an educated guess on the roof port. I think we'll be fine there. So they got 600 watts of solar up here. I think that's gonna work out good. So I think that'll about do it for this one. If you've got anything solar or battery related that you need help with in your camper van that you're working on or a travel trailer you're remodeling or anything uh, it seems to be more and more common people are taking something old and building it themselves which i love but uh, if you need help with that we can uh, help sell you the equipment give you guidance on how to install it yourself or we can do it for you we are getting later on in the season but uh probably doing more helping and consulting than we are actually installing ourselves as we get into winter here in Minnesota. So uh, if you need any of that, check us out at sodasolar.com, S-O-T-A, solar.com. Thanks for watching.